Yeah, I got 11 minutes on this. All right, cool. 11. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. 11 is destruction. Hey, that's the vibe that's in the air right now, bro. That's the spirit. Go ahead. This is the book of... Oh, no. Wait, you have Daniels, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Read it, brother. Good. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And that's the time we're living in now. This destruction is going to be written in history. You watch documentaries, right? Uh -huh. Egypt, the Lord destroyed the Egyptians. Which right now, which right now I just saw, I just saw, um, I saw a thing yesterday proving that Moses, another, uh, another uh, fact. That Moses existed in Egypt, man. Because these devils, these Rothschilds know who we are. We know we're the Hebrew Israelites. That's why they're going to try to roll on us real soon. Because they're scared of this truth. They're scared of this truth. Here it is. Oh, you have all these movements, the guns, the Black Panther Party. But they can infiltrate you when you play with Esau's blessing, which is the gun. But we're spiritual. We're spiritual men. We're telling our people to get ourselves right in the mind. These Esau don't like that. See, when you play in this field with his gun, which is his blessing, you're going to lose. You're playing his playing field. But he's not spiritual. When you take him to our playing field, which is the spiritual realm, he gets destroyed. Because he's a carnal man. He's not spiritual at all. Go ahead. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Right, it's going to get so bad that Michael himself, the third in command under heaven, man. Yahweh, first is Yahweh, then is uh, uh, his son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior. And then is Michael. Michael is going to get so bad here, Michael is going to come have to come down here and protect us, man. That's how bad it's going to get down here, man. Go ahead. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And as you, the ones of you, the two-thirds that come against us, here it is, we're telling you you're the greatest people on the planet of earth. We're telling you you're Hebrew Israelites, and you hate us for it, man. Precept. And all we're doing is telling you the truth, and you hate us for it, but that's okay, because the Lord was hated for the truth. Go ahead. You brothers to say in that movie, The Firm, with a... a um, uh, Jack Nicholson, who's a Jake too, is an Israelite, and Tom Cruise, he could be an Israelite. What did he say in the movie? Tell me the truth! Tell me the truth! You can't handle the truth! And that's what it is. You can't handle the truth. Have I become your enemy because we tell you the truth? Good. Because you love your lies. This whole world is a lie. You're comfortable in your fucking lies. But the Lord's going to make you fucking uncomfortable, man. Because the economy's going to collapse and all hell's going to fucking break loose. Here it is. Sears and Macy's are closing up jobs. By April, I heard 200 fucking stores are closing down. Again. How many jobs are getting lost? I think 10,000, 20,000 jobs? And you people still talking shit? <laughs> Go ahead. Back, hey, back in Memphis, they knocked down the series because it wasn't doing any uh, doing any justice or making profit for their company. So these businesses are bellying up. Mm -hmm. And for the past, what, since 2012 and before that a little, Macy's been losing a whole lot of jobs in the, in the thousands as of now. Mm-hmm. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down onto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. That's right. So this devil, he knows that he has but a short time. He knows the prophecies come to pass. He knows the brothers and sisters are waking up to the four corners of the earth through the YouTube via internet. The Lord created the YouTube. Not for, not for twerking and, and, and selling drugs and showing how much money you got like Soldier Boy and <coughs> Soldier Boy and fucking uh, Chris, Brown. Chris Brown. Now all of a sudden they go on boxing and Mayweather's going to train Soldier Boy. and Man, that's all a distraction, man. Yeah. Entertainment. That's what it's called. To, 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 bread to and steal, Circus. Bread and Circus. To steal you away from the real issues of what's really going on. A lot of shit is popping off. We talk about when shit pops off. When a race war happens. Man, we've been in a race war for four or five hundred years. Okay. We're in a freaking race war, man. When we're being called blacks and Latinos and Native Americans, and these devils, red Edomites, are calling themselves white, that's a race war. Brainwashing our people. And here it is, we're trying to uh, uh, brainwash our people with the truth, clean their brain, wash their brain with the truth from the filth and the, and the guck and the shit that they've been brought up with in this society, and they hate us for it, man. You got motherfuckers that want to kill us, but that's okay, though. That shows that we're doing the right thing. Go ahead. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down on to you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And these no these devils know they have but a short time. That's why they're gonna roll in the prophets, but that's okay though, because the scriptures say the prophets are not gonna be pushed to a corner anymore. This is your time to get your fucking ass kicked, you understand? Give me Isaiah fifty nine nineteen. Mm -hmm. And give me Jeremiah sixteen sixteen. I got that name just uh, quoted. Now all of a sudden he's he's Spanish. Motherfucker, Israel, Israel like trying to play bills, man. 
They don't got time to do no terrorist attacks, man. Israelites trying, right? Yeah. Israelites are trying to pay bills. They're trying to pay their phone bill. They're trying to pay their gas bill. They're trying to pay their Verizon bill. They don't got time for no terrorist attacks. They're trying to make it, man. Shit, a lot of the tribes are trying to recoup from Christmas. You know, having to spend all their money for their families and whatnot, even though they don't know that Christmas is against the scriptures. The Lord doesn't support Christmas. It's not found in the Bible, but a lot of our people, they still trying to belly up from counting down from 2016 to 2017. So come on now, you really think that the tribes really got time, energy, effort, and money to try to do something besides take care of their family? The people got to stop believing that bullshit that these news people is telling you. Hey, man, that's real. And that's beautiful. The Most High is doing that too. Because you Latinos, you think you're better than the so-called Negroes, your brethren? Guess what? Your ass going to get fucked up too. Because Esau going to put his red foot up your asses too, man. It doesn't matter if you're dark chocolate Latino or you light-skinned, high yellow Latino. Your ass going to get fucked up. You're going to get thrown in the concentration camp and your head going to get chopped up. Your head going to get chopped up with your brethren, the so-called Negroes, tribe of Judah. Because you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, you, you bunch of avocado head, frozen avocado head Puerto Ricans and you coconut headed Negroes. Most I gonna fucking crack it to the center, man. That's what's gotta happen. And then that's when that's when you wanna take shit serious. Here it is, we're teaching and you wanna come against us, man. Exactly. We're telling you the time that you live in, you think it's a joke? These Rothschilds are not playing. You know they can't sleep right at night? We know you Rothschilds can't sleep at night. We know you fucked up. We know the angels busy you in your villas. We know that Satan, when you inaugurate him, he's not coming as fast as he used to. So you're getting angry and you're getting upset because we're pushing this force out to the Spirit of the Lord and it's combating the forces, your forces. It's combating it. That's what the Jedi forces, that's what it is. The fighting of the forces. And this truth is coming out and it's fucking up. It's fucking you up. That's why you're like, man, we gotta we gotta get these new. And then they doing they say they doing these terrorist attacks and people are not scared of them no more. Right? When they came where we was at, they had the, the false flag, they had yeah. the terrorist attack on the television. Yeah. You saw J you saw uh Ishmael look at it. Ishmael. He looked at it and said, Psh. No, Everybody's looking like it's another talk, another shooting. That's why these devils are getting mad. They're like, man, we gotta man, we gotta really do something crazy. We got to do something that's going to make 9-11 look like a, a walk in the park. Good. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Time of Jacob's trouble. The 12 tribes of Israel, you black and Latino Native Americans, the time of your trouble. You've been in trouble. Or you've been brainwashed, and you've been comfortable in this society. But you're going to be in trouble. When the economy collapses, and your children and your wife can't eat, then you're going to take shit serious. When your little comfortable bubble gets busted, Go ahead. But he shall be saved out of it. He shall be saved out of it. Lord willing, we probably elect. Why do you think we're doing these videos? Why do you think we're out there teaching the cold? Because ultimately, the Lord puts the spirit on us, you know? And when we pray, Psalms 51, that he'll take the spirit out of us. Because we've seen that. And that's scary in itself. This thing's about fear. That's what keeps you in line. People respect uh, uh, power, man. So that we know what our power did to our ancient enemies and what he did to Israel, man. What he's going to do to Israel. That's scary, man. Here it is. We're God's chosen people. And Esau fucked us up. You want to know the anger of the Lord? Look at Shirak. That's the anger of the Lord. More bodies dropping than fucking the Middle Eastern war. Don't you? And he wants to talk about God loves everybody. You don't know God. You know how angry God is, man? You going to know. You going to know. You going to know. You going to know, know the anger of the Lord. You going to know the anger of the Lord. And all you Israelites that know this knowledge and you're bullshitting and half-assing, talk about we're going to be another two, three years. Most likely going to fuck you up, man. Because something big's going to happen. Here it is. We're in the beginning. What? Six days into this bitch. And all hell's fucking breaking loose, man. It can happen just like that. Talk about we could be here two, three years. I don't know, man. Shit, man, man, fuck you, man. You don't have the most high's mind. You don't know what the most high can do. Ever since 9-11, America wasn't the same. All it takes is one fucking false flag and everything can fucking change, man. You go to the trans, you see motherfuckers with M16s and shit, man. Machine gunned out. Look at Fort Lauderdale, right? They was taking the airport airplanes, right? Yeah, another day, and then look, boom. 9-11. People going to work, and they didn't know they were going to fly off the goddamn building head first, cracking their fucking skull into the concrete, exploding like pineapples, man. Go ahead. And that's what needs to happen, man. I got a quick For fucking people to get a reality check. Go ahead, brother. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, Spirit. then sudden destruction cometh upon them. That's what he has right there. travel upon the woman with child, and they shall not escape. Peace and safety. Oh, Putin. Putin, uh, you can't wait for Trump to come in. Yeah, peace and right. safety. That's the spirit, because, yo, that's that's what it is. Oh, we have peace. Oh, Trump and Putin, the beast going to stop. No. We don't know what the fuck is going to happen. A false flag can happen. Obama can stay president and dictator. They, he already passed the laws. And he passed a lot of legislation, too. Behind the holidays where everybody's fucking doing the Christmas shopping, the satanic, evil, pagan holiday Christmas shopping, 
Obama's passing all these legislations. And it's not even him, it's the Rothschilds behind that, passing all these legislations. So we don't know what's going to happen before the 20th. It might be a false flag. He might just stay president, man. Go ahead. Got a quick job. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 11, verse 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe comes quickly. And I'll say this right quick because, you know, the brother and I have been peeping as far as the news has been talking about. They trying to blame Russia off of this, um, the elections hack regarding bringing out all these wiki leaks and all these different leaked out information regarding these Democrats as far as Hillary Clinton and all the bullshit that she had behind the closed doors talking about all these different skirmishes she's been having overseas. They trying to bring out all this different information about who these different people are bringing up this information on these different Democrats, basically demolishing the Democratic Party, even though it's all different, you know, different sides of the same coin, but basically bashing the Democratic people portion so they can bring up more information for the Republicans to back up Donald Trump to make it seem like uh, he's the man for the job. Because right now they pointing the finger at Russia like, yo, Russia, you're the one bringing leaks. You're the one that's bringing spies. You're the one that's doing all this inside damage inside this country. So when it comes time for this third world war, like the scripture says, the second war is passed. But behold, the third war coming quickly. They like, look, just point the finger at Russia. They don't get in line. All the American ally, allies get in line and they're going to point Russia as the enemy. But you got Putin out there that's bringing the information out to the people. Look. Shit, man. We're going to do what we got.